Yep. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Robert, I'm absolutely brilliant. How are you? I am great. What a beautiful day today. I have oh, to say. Oh, man. You mean, are you talking spiritually? Are you talking no, physically? No, just weather. Talking mentally? Just a nice weather? day. And it was great. No. There was a little bit of rain this morning, a little bit of fog, but cleared up. and Quite rainy here this, uh, well, I, I drove it quite a bit, so it was, yeah, quite 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 rainy. But nice, I don't mind the rain, Rob. You know what I mean? I get to stick my fog lights on and stuff, and it's good crack. My car looks at like a police car, so it's fun in the motorway, you know what I mean? Should be great for tomorrow's Sunday in our workshop. <laughs> tomorrow's going to be fun day. 14 degrees and moist. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm just wearing, you know what I'm going to wear? Listen, I'm not even joking. You a pair of boxer shorts. Your right skin's on. waterproof, Rob. You know what I mean? I'm it is. Warm. It is. You'll yeah. dry out. You will dry mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have three stories today. Oh, Rob. I have three Three important stories. Oh, should should oh. I should I start at the beginning and make my most important one the first one? Yes, you should. I should warn you that I had three stories, but I now you have um, seven. No, I don't even know. I've no, I've not got five. Um, five, and I'm probably. I know, but I'm probably. I'm, I'm not going to do five. I'm going to do one probably, and it's going to just literally be a rant. It's not really news. Well, it is news. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm sitting up something something very uncomfortable in the bottom. Um, it is news, but it's um, it's ranty news. What do you think of that? Isn't that what it all is? No, this is like this is like this is an educational ranty news for those for those who do not know, for those that need to think about heaven and karma and all that sort of stuff. What do you think of that? I don't think enough people think of it. I know. Well, fucking who I think of it a lot. You think you? I know that. I know there's a gentleman out there with uh, uh, orange skin and uh, a bad rug who's thinking about karma right now. Ian Paisley, Junior? without getting no. without getting too political, uh, in well, a you hospital. Don't, you don't like the political? Oh, I'm I'm recording everyone. Oh, Le Leah, I'm I'm in the middle of this. Leland really, really wants to bring you this. Sorry. Okay, sorry, Rob. Let's just <laughs> no go. Problem. Let's go with this. Get, bring it over and give it to me. Let's Don't see. Touch it. Let's bring, see. Yeah. Come on up. Up, up. Quick, quick. Quick, quick. Quick, quick. Oh, sugar lumps. Look. Look Look in here. Look, say hiya. Hi. hi. Say hiya. Hi. What do you hi. hear this? Say hiya. Hiya. Say hi. Hi. What 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 noise does Peppa Pig make? What what does Homer say? Yeah. Right, you've been funny enough. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. Is that, oh, you're, that's not for me at all, Leah. We're on we're on a very strict time schedule. Jesus, you wouldn't listen to Johnny Carson show. No. <laughs> Right, what's his finger? Are you comparing yourself to Johnny Carson? <laughs> no, I'm comparing my <laughs> wife to Johnny Carson. I'm just some invisible idiot who comes on and is instantly forgotten. Sorry about that, Rob. That's Liam. So, Liam. Chris. Yeah. Right, go tell me your news, Rob. Facebook might be pulling out of the EU. Really? Yeah. The hammers come down, and basically they can't con conform to the GDPR, you know, that whole privacy thing mm -hmm. in the EU. And because in the past they they got caught up with uh, Facebook and Instagram and a couple other social medias, the NSA yeah, yeah. in the United States, the, their PRISM program, which is like yeah. a, you know, a wiretapping sort of bullshit. Anyway. Listening in, you mean? Yep. Oops, and they, they, they've been reading all the data that's been coming through from Europe and they're not supposed uh -huh. to because of the <laughs> European Union stuff. Yeah. Yep. So basically they can't, they can't, uh, you know, confirm that it's, that they can adhere to it. So if they can't adhere to it, it looks like they might pull out of the EU. But that, that's not Britain, is it? Well, it'll be air. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ireland. Um, Oh, It'll be Ireland because Ireland is where yeah. is where they're based. 
they're based out of Ireland, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we going to do, Rob? Uh, I don't no, know. Nothing. I'm not, on, I'm not well, on Facebook right now, so. Well, I, you know what, Rob? I go on to Facebook for a friend's birthdays. I love yeah. seeing whose birthday it is. Like an old man looking at the death notices. Like my mum used to always go on about the death notices. Um, and I'm now turned into a birthday boy version of it. Quite a happy version of that, I think. That's that's it won't happen though, but it's something they have to say. Uh, I don't sure. know. I don't know if it's I don't know, man. Like it could be you know, there's billions, billions of, of pounds and dollars, you know, spent in advertising in the EU through Facebook. I mean, think of it, all the wedding photographers, like everybody, you know. Yeah. Well, all the, yeah, everybody yeah. has like a Facebook page yeah, yeah, yeah. In it for their business. Yeah. So. Because it's cheap. Yeah, basically it's cheap. I pay <laughs> next to nothing for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you mean for just for, you pay for the advertising, but not for the actual. Yeah, well, as a market. I pay, I, I pay for my Facebook page, don't you? No, I don't. I just have a Facebook page. Hmm? I just have a Facebook page. I don't have a business one. You don't? No, hold on. Are you paying money? I don't know. You're paying for a, for a Belfast for the workshops. <laughs> what do you pay? I'm going to owe you money. Oh, this is your way of bringing it up. This is your hey. way of bringing the story up. You, can't, you don't want to ask directly because hey. we're friends hey. and we're both in the same boat and <laughs> you've, you've invented a story about GDPR to bring it around. No, 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 no. It's real. It's okay. real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Anyways, the second you? story, my second story, leading straight yeah. from there into the second story. Last week, I told you about the Facebook image rights manager. Yeah, I like that story. It's a complete shit show. <laughs> so I applied. I applied and I wasn't accepted. No, why? I was turned down. I was refused. Because you're not an artist. Yeah, I'm not a photographer. <clears throat> I'm not a you know, professional photographer. <laughs> so they, they refused me. So get this. I'm glad somebody if, has fucking picked up on that. Yeah. So if I was admitted into this program, I yep. would have to uh, send to Facebook a CSV file of, of the specific metadata of the images that I wanted them to watch. No, you don't. Yes, that's how it works. That's how ridiculous it is. So you would basically have to send them a spreadsheet of the metadata for each of the images, and they would they would log that on their computers. And when that metadata came through their system, they would mm -hmm. match it up. And if it matched up, they would double check to make sure to see if it was a rights infringement. And if it was a rights infringement, they would flag it with those three different categories that I told you about last week. Mm -hmm. Anyways... Mm -hmm. it, this is absolutely asinine way to Jesus, rights manage, to image rights yeah. manage images over mm -hmm. the internet. Like you mm -hmm. could basically hire a room full of monkeys to look after it better. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. so ridiculous. Why so you, I, go ahead. You know that I know that is, you know that is Rob. Mark what? Zuckerberg's cousin. Cousin Zante, son, yeah, has just oh, come yeah, out. Of, has, I has just has just come out of school, and he's done a wee bit of something around this. And he has said, "Look, knock yourself out." This uh, and it, is this I got this under team? control. It's all under control, Mori. It's all under control. <laughs> all I need people to do is spend twenty five years logging everything, setting it to me. Isn't by that, which time? <laughs> isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that fucking asinine? It's unbelievable. It's on. Well, you know, have they not looked at how Getty or <laughs> have they not? Have they not looked at how? Dude, at that point, at that point, if 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 you know, if I was going to keep on with Facebook, I would just, I would really would, I would just put a big ugly watermark across the middle mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. Just screw it. Like that's well, going to do more to deter people from stealing funny. the images than, than this this bullshit. Yeah. And, but you know, while what, I you, was going, while I was reading and researching on this, I found this company called I'm a tag. Mm -hmm. I am a T A G. You got to mm -hmm. check them out. Now I just watched a video on it. I, mm -hmm. I haven't really like gone deep, deep, deep into it yet, mm -hmm. but this stuff looks amazing. It's kind of like, what was it in Photoshop? They had the Digimark. 
Yeah. yeah remember yeah, the yeah, old yeah. watermark yeah, yeah, Digimart? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is this is another type of watermark, but it's it but it flags back to Imamark, Im, Imatag. Yeah, yeah. Imatag. Whenever your image pops up, your you Clever. have an invisible watermark that they mm-hmm. can find, that they find and they trace and they track. Mm-hmm. No matter if it's cropped or no matter if it's modified, no matter what. Is this, it, is, this not how, is this not how Gary do it? No. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. But this sounds so good. I, I'm going to check it out a little bit more because, as you know, I have a ridiculous amount of copyright infringements and, you know, I need to get, I need to get it more. A handle on it. I need a handle on it at the base level yeah. as opposed to the end level after the copyright infringements and stuff, mm-hmm. which is where mm-hmm. I'm at right now. But that's my first two stories. Lucky has just... <laughs> like, share, are, subscribe. Are you gonna get, you're going to get what, what ha- just happened to Lucky. Look at this here. <laughs> you're not really... No, he's not dead. That's okay. Because <laughs> it's Lucky in the frame. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I'm going to have to suck my tummy in. Well, Rob, I'm going to go straight. They're very, and I'm going to say, be honest with you, they're great stories. Last couple of weeks, well, I've been marking out a ten, and you haven't got a ten. That's a ten for me. Uh, no, not that I'm not that I'm the big marker. I'm a ten. You know I mean? I'm a ten. You're a ten, a ten tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. What me you and Bo Derek, two tens. Oh, don't do Bo Derek. Bo Derek. What was she in? What was she? She was in ten. What was she? Was the she film was in ten? 10. Wasn't it? She was in Tan, and she was in Bolero. Lag- Blue Lagoon? No. no. that was Brooke Shields. Oh, Brooke Shields. But if you oh, want to go down, down another me... rabbit hole, yeah. Google, Google Brooke Shields 2020. Really? Take a look at what she looks like now. She looks great, no doubt. Whoa. You want to be careful, Rob? Feminists will start disliking the page again. No, no. You know, the, you know the trouble? With, I let myself down by being excited by Brooke Shields there a second ago in a very manly and masculine way, and I'm now bringing myself back down to think that it's not about... In fact, it wasn't about Brooke's looks that I love her. It was her um, It was her essence and the way she... And her um, acting prowess. It was genius. Serious. For, the, for, a, for a lady of her time, and on, and on serious note, she done a lot of really special stuff. Don't push me on what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Lagoon. I'll be in, tr- I'll be in uh, trouble. Uh, good. Was that Oliver Reed? Oliver Reed, wasn't that? Blue Lagoon. No, was it Oliver it was, Reed? Um, oh, what was the kid's name? Blonde kid, Chris Atkins? Chris Don't Atkins. Good Chris Atkins. We should go into the movie business. Rob, do you know what my first story is? It's not even a story, it's just a rant. Okay, you have... 10, 10 minutes to rant. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll not rant for 10 minutes, but um, right, ahead, I was, uh, right, well, listen, I was on today, right, and I was looking at um, uh, Dorothy Lange, okay, and I was on uh, MoMA, and I was looking at it, and I was like looking at um, Migrant Mother, okay, we all know the famous photograph of the Migrant Mother, you know, from the oh, Dorothy 1936, Lange. yeah, from the, from the Great Depression, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, with her hand up uh, at her Hand up, at her two, face, two yeah. kids looking away, and everything yeah, else. Beautiful photograph. And it was just a beautiful photograph. And I, was, I was reading about it and it was, you know, it's about the Great Depression. And of course, you know, all that stuff's kind of ringing a wee bit more true now with food, ba- with all, with all, well, before COVID, food banks were on the go. Um, but, you know, and then it started getting me thinking that image kind of triggered a bit of stuff because I had other stuff up. I was going to talk about a, a retrospective that was going on in a moment. With um with Dorothy Lange, and then I thought to myself, I started thinking about um, where we find ourselves as 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 artists and and everything else, and I have to say I feel completely forgotten. Completely forgotten. In what sense? I think, well, just by in the sense that there it seems to be, you know, there seems to be very little happening. I'm not saying that's for everybody, you know what I mean? But it it's, there's definitely a lot less happening than there than there was. From an artistic point of view, I think that you know. Well, because we're, we're in lockdown. Because we're in lockdown, but other people are getting a bit, a bit more. You know, there, there are people out there who, you know, either haven't been desperately affected, 
you know, because they're in civil service or whatever, and they're still getting they're still getting all their dosh and all that sort of stuff. Um, and the future probably doesn't look too bleak for them. You know, it's probably, you know, maybe they're having trouble at home. They just want to get out and get back to work and all, all those other things. Mm-hmm. But it made me think that you know. And then the other thing that came to, came out somebody somebody came uh, came upon somebody who seems to be doing a lot of work. And then I would get a wee bit of investigating head on, and I found out what they were what they were charging, and they're charging nothing, not nothing, but they're undercutting, and I'm just like, I spe- that's bad enough in real life when things are on the go, that people have the audacity to do that or the unprofessionality to do that, but to do it, when now whenever you know a fair share of work would be. A kind of a good thing to happen, you know what I mean? Well, we we talked talk- about this last week. You and I know, I. Rob. I, I know I sent we you, did. I sent I sent you that link about that a specific no. visual artist who decided yeah. to give away his work for free because he was sitting yeah. in the waiting room. Yeah, and he just yeah. fancied a ride in a car. Yeah, and he yeah. decided he would do something for free just because he could get a ride in a car. Meanwhile, that took that definitely took somebody's oh, yeah, dinner yeah, off yeah. the table yeah yeah well there are people out there now not just one person i, I know a few that are um are doing stuff for uh, incredibly stupid rates and you can be sure don't, shit do, it. People, don't do it no, people yeah, the, don't do it but listen the other thing is i also know that one of the jobs the 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 agency is getting paid full whack for it mm-hmm. so it's not as though there isn't money there there's yeah. money there. That's classic, dude. It's just it's classic. A nice race to the bottom, but it's all it's always nice whenever you know, whenever whenever things are low. You know, I mean that you know the musicians aren't out and you know, all the all the stuff that we have that we hear in day and daily from friends and family and everything else, that there there are there are people out there. And you know what it's like? It's like, you know, I have a poster downstairs, uh, you know, it's that that classic saying, you know. I didn't stand the up. The two little kittens the, hanging on the on the clothesline going, hang in there, baby? No, no, it's a girl scratching her bum at a tennis net. It's Athena. It's beautiful. <laughs> and no. what's the saying underneath it? The saying underneath, no, it's a, it, it's it's one I bought years ago and it's, it's um it's it do it's do it it's do with the miners getting 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 screwed, you know, and it's you know, I didn't say anything whenever they came for the Yorkshire mines, you know the saying. You know, and then uh, you know it goes through the different mines, and then it or through different places, and then it, you know at the end there was nobody there for whenever you know whenever whenever they came for me, and that's kind of the that's kind of the sense. These people are scabs. I don't I put it. Uh, I'm not going to be any. It's horrible, be Chris. Kind. It is. It is 100 percent horrible. Scabs. I understand scabs. people. People need to put food on the table and that kind of thing. But if you've been hired, you've been hired for a reason. You've been mm. hired because of what you do, and you should not yeah. be discounting that. I mean. If somebody offers you something like that, at yeah. least put it off. Mm-hmm. Put mm-hmm. off mm-hmm. that free mm-hmm. job till the second or third or fourth project. Get yeah, yeah, the yeah. first yeah. project under your belt yeah. for full yeah. price. Then mm-hmm. you know you have them. Then you yeah. can you can either do a job in the future for free or at a discount yeah. or whatever. But you got to yeah. get that first one in because if you do it for free they're just going to leave after that project and find the next desperate photographer of course, to do it for of course, free. Of course, of course, of course. And, and it, it's, an endless, and... it's an endless thing. And just like you said, that agency, more than likely, is going to be getting full price from their of course. client. Well, of course. But you know what? The agency might even be getting more because, you know, they're having to come in and they're, you know, all this stuff, all this stuff. <laughs> anyway, that's one gripe. Anyways. The next one, the, ne- the next one's slightly, slightly, slightly better, okay? Oh, you have two because gripes. Two rants. No, no, this is no, no, this is this is a nice one if I can find it, Rob. Or is it the same one it. just sort of extended? No, this is this is the opposite end of that. So PhotoWorks, you know how I love PhotoWorks every 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 week. Oh my goodness! Photowork, oh, folks, PhotoWorks and I are big big pals. Melt okay? in your chair, PhotoWorks. Melt <laughs> in my chair, right? But anyway, the events, the 2020 Photo Festival events. Remember, I was telling you about the photo um, the photo festival in the box. Yes. You buy last it. Week, you that, it that was great. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So so we're into, I'm into the events this week. Okay, and you know it's works. It's online. It's online stuff. Okay, so it's an absolute an app from the third from today onwards. Environmental approaches in the dark room, right the way through. Talks and conversation with uh, with Shar Mandlin. Instagram live with uh, with uh, Guan Zhu. I'm very bad at names. I got a, a portfolio match all day session. You didn't Google all speech this. that. 
no, I, you know what, Rob, I'm, you know the crack, I'm just through the door. Um, um, <laughs> virtual tour, um, Worthing tour for Photo, Photo Works Friends, okay? But whenever you go into book these stuff, okay, right? Mm-hmm. Virtual festival tour of Hove and Brighton and Friends, right? You go into book it, okay? Mm-hmm. And you go into the, uh, you go into the link and it says to you, um, uh, uh, Inform Book. You hit Inform Book, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, you book it, go into book a ticket. Okay, and whenever it comes in to book a ticket, if I can get it up, it uh, it basically gives you the opportunity to pay full whack, pay student prices, or there's a drop down box that if you can't afford, it's pay what you can, okay, and you can pay nothing and get a complimentary ticket, or you can pay a pound, you can pay whatever. Now they're really but obviously gold and you've been honest. But for me, that's the very opposite end of the scabby shites who are robbing people of proper work. You know what I mean? Here you have yeah. people who are really tech. No, I, Rob, I think it's, I think it's important because there will be people out there who definitely can't afford stuff, who definitely can't, who want to do a workshop, you know, and maybe, maybe five pound at this point, you know, is a bit too much for them. So they pay three. You don't agree? Um, I could definitely see it being abused. Mm. Quite, quite heavily. That, but that's because you're Canadian and probably dishonest in your own heart. No, 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 no. <laughs> of no. course it'll be abused. No. Of course yeah. it'll be abused. Of course. But Rob, I think, you know, reading that, I actually felt quite quite moved by it. I was like, that's No, really, I think that's, that's great. I think that's that whole Tom that's York. Really... Remember when Radiohead did that? They gave yeah, away yeah, their yeah. album for free yeah. and, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, pay, yeah. pay what you feel it's worth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's very commendable. It's a very valiant thing to do. Or not and it's aimed at artists. This is aimed at artists because people are having a shit time. Now, I'm going to go on to my next one, which is really important. You know this, and I know this, that the Freelance Foundation is open again for Northern Ireland. Um, there, And I, I've been on, I've been looking for funding for various other people, okay? And mm-hmm. I find that there's a ton of stuff out there. There's a ton of stuff. Now, Is there anything um, for me? Loads of stuff. The Paul Hamden Foundation has a great list, okay? And I'll put a link to it. It's funding, uh, fundingforartists.org.uk. And there is, um, there's tons of stuff on it. Now, it's, a lot of it's, it's all visual and, and sculpture and stuff. There's not evidence for, photo- for photography, but there's stuff out there. There's also really beautiful, really beautiful um, small um, the Eaton Fund, okay? And it gives you up to 300, 350 quid. That's not a massive amount of money, right? And they don't give it to you because you're going to pay your mortgage stuff. They give it to you, if, you know, if you want to, I don't know, if you want to do, uh, frame your work, let's say. Now, I know it's not going to frame a lot of work, okay? But I think it's just, it's one of these things where it's actually really, there's something really nice about, a, you know, it's a family foundation and they're wanting to give money to artists and nurses, the two things. Not performance artists, it says. Which I, oh, there you go. Um, but that, but that's it. They give you um, 350, 400 quid um, for a specific task. You know, in this day and age, that's nice. That's, you know, that, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it'll help. It'll help. It'll it not, hurt. It'll, it'll not. Do you know what? Even the support, even the thought of somebody supporting people at this time, for me, is, is magic. I have, I have friends. Right? Like, I wouldn't say I'm... I, you I'm have not, friends? I'm not doing, I know it's hard to believe. I know. Don't be jealous now, Rob. Don't be jealous. Besides me. Besi- well, I'm trying to think of it. Or am I your friend? I love you, Rob. I don't force me to say it. I say it every week. <laughs> and you never say it back. I love you. And you always go a bit, bit coy, a bit shy. And you always Chris, say, I like you, Chris. you're the best. That's not the same as saying I love you. You've said, Rob. It does not come out. It's like, mm, love, love. Mm. Is it a Canadian thing? It's not because I have friends in Canada. I have family in Canada that say love. Love. So anyways, what what was the rest of your story? Fuck. Fuck's sake, Rob. By the end of this, I'm going to get a fucking... I'm going to get a mug sent. I love Rob Durson. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's one more more I'll mention, which is actually... It's news, and it's um, it's the we transfer or the we the we present, and it's Mm -hmm. Wales Bonner, B-O-N-N-E-R. You found another good one. Yeah, they're all. You know what? Oh, it's hard to find. Def, they're I, great. I, 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 it's a rabbit hole. Do you want to try it's and, another rabbit yeah. hole. It's a rabbit hole. Wheels, 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 Bonner, and it's um, it's a fashion thing. It's I see my research process as its own artistic practice. 
okay um go and have a go <laughs> go and have a browse it's uh it is a rabbit hole but it's really really good um uh, i'm very interested in the idea of uh, multiplicity of perspectives um presenting something or creating in a way that's collaborative it sounds it, that maybe sounds a bit it doesn't sound rc um but basically you can download their um their zine free zine which is really nice i just downloaded mm -hmm. it um it's fashion but it's good fashion it reminds me what do you call your friend the hires the studio Joe, Joe, Joe McGivern. Great stuff. Yeah, it's not it's not visually similar, but it's the same sort of vibe. Yeah, Joe stuff. Yeah, Great. Joe stuff. It's ed it's educational, is what it is, Rob. It's educational. Cool. I love it. I love and, it. And just to reiterate that, yeah. people go to WeTransfer, mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. the opening page when you get your WeTransfer page. You can click on that and go behind that and see the whole we presents you know portfolio of all these Genius. different artists it's great go to we it's transfer and then great. you'll find the we present thing absolutely mm -hmm. great stuff and by the way there's a thing i want to talk about on the last one in photo works um a an online i think it's online no it says you need papers maybe it's a, it must be an online thing um and it's for queer artists there you go lgb2 lgb lgbtq plus um, the blurb on it's fantastic. I sat in a, um, a thing with Belfast City Council last last week. Um, uh, that was to do with LGBT plus and to do with LGB LGB T Wes LGBT tongue twister plus. It's a well, it's a tongue twister. If you have a, you have a drink half bottle of wine in basically five minutes, I suppose. <gasps> Leah's dad watches this as well. He said the other day, he watches it, Rob. Really? He said he should watch. He said he should watch more. Yeah, um, like he's an absolute, he's a, he's an absolute gent. But I don't want him to hear me saying fuckity fuck all the time. Do you know what I mean? I think his daughter's married to somebody who's a dirty pot. So do I have to, I have to edit all that out again. No, potty mouth. He won't. He really won't care. He might say he cares. I don't think he would care. David and hey, hold on. Can we see who subscribed and liked? Does he hasn't subscribed and liked? I'm gonna have to ring him. Yes. Are you putting all those? Are you putting all those we we videos? We'll throw one of those in there. Oh, let's in do the beginning. more. There's one let's in the beginning. More. Here, I want um, I want you and I to restage one of uh, Dorothy's photographs, or one of the, one from that series to do with the Great Depression. I want you and I to be the subjects. As long as I don't, as long as I don't play John Malkovich. Have you seen those? <laughs> They're all They're like genius. They're so genius. It's, it's absolute genius. I know he beat us to it. We well, might contact him. I have his number, you know. I worked with him once. No. Yeah. I find myself a wee bit attracted to him. Think of that. Mm -hmm. I know, don't be jealous, Rob, because I, I still love you. There's room in my heart for all sorts of men. Humans. Okay, so we've got one minute left. Real quick. Oh, we do? Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. Lightroom, ACR, all of those Adobe, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> Adobe Camera Raw um, stuff. We're getting color grading, a new color grading user interface. So you'll be really? able, it's based on the Lumetri um, color grading from Premiere. So you'll be able to uh, color grade your midtones as well as your highlights and shadows. It's great. Split toning, blah, blah, blah. Link in the description this week. No, no, it's, it's all included. Just with exactly with the same, the sky replacements and all that stuff from last week as well. So, <laughs> okay, Bill. Yeah. Well, Chris, it's, it's been grand. It's been grand. Thank you very much. I know you've had a busy week. Thanks for sharing your time with us. You've been turned off. Uh, 
I'm just going to tease you. I'm going to tease you. I'm going to tease you.